today's date of the legislative programme, which is the government's programme for, for this parliamentary year. And two things I would draw attention to is really important. First is opportunities for all. That's the, the new commitment for all young people in Scotland that they'll either have a job, an apprenticeship, be in education or have a training or educational opportunity. Uh, currently 85% of youngsters leave school with a positive destination, either for further education or for a training opportunity or for the job. 85% is a fair number, but it's not enough. And there's nothing more important than difficult days for the economy than securing a future for Scotland's young people. And that's why Opportunities for All is going to extend that as far as we possibly can. And everybody we know and guarantee will be offered. So if you don't have a job, you don't have an apprenticeship, of which there will be 25,000 in Scotland this year, and you don't uh, aren't going into further education or higher education or university, then you'll be offered an educational or training opportunity. And we can't compel people to do it. But what we can do as a government and as a society is make that offer. I think it's the responsibility of every adult Scot uh, to work together to secure the best future possible for the young people of Scotland. So that's very much the, the hallmark of, of what we intend to do. We've got our eyes set on economic recovery, fending off the depredations from Westminster, the cutbacks in revenue, the stupid cutbacks in capital spending, which is so important this night, and doing our absolute best for the people of Scotland. In other areas of the, the budget, the, the move to a single police and fire service I think is very important. You see, when times are tight and when money is very tight, you've got to concentrate on the front line. In the last few days we've seen statistics which show that crime is at a 35 year low in Scotland. And on the same day that our commitment of a thousand new police officers in the communities of Scotland had been more than met. There's more than 1,100 more than there was in 2007. I think there's a direct relationship between the two. I think more police in the communities means less crime. And I'm absolutely determined that despite the Tory Liberal cuts from Westminster imposed on Scotland, we're not going to relinquish that number of police. And therefore the only way we can do that, the only way we can make that fit, is by economising on the back office and the bureaucracy. Uh, and so bringing things together in a single police force for Scotland means that we can concentrate on frontline policing, what communities want. There's not many folk in Scotland can tell you the name of their chief constable. Everybody in Scotland wants a visible police presence in their community. That's what matters to communities. And we can save enormous amounts of money on the duplication of having eight offices for the police in, in Scotland. Let's have a national service that serves the people. And the same is true for the fire service, hugely important for Scotland. It's quite significant that one of the, the biggest voices calling for a single fire service has been the Fire Brigade Union, because they understand in order to protect the front line and protect the fire officer and fire officer's job, then we need to have an efficient service running for the whole community of Scotland. So all in all, this slice of the programme is a lot of substance. Major changes so that we can keep our public services equipped for the future. A focus on employment, particularly youth employment, giving our young people a chance. But above all, this is an optimistic, forward-looking programme, because we know that Scotland has changed. The election result told us that. The indications in the polls since say the SNP, the cause of independence, of financial self-government for Scotland is moving forward. Uh, the negative governing of the other parties is meeting with a stony response from the Scottish people. So to move Scotland forward, we've got a priority for getting the economic muscle from the current Scotland Bill going through the Westminster Parliament and applying that for the best interests of the Scottish people. But that is a, a process because the best result for Scotland the best thing that Scotland can have, the best form of government for Scotland, is independence. Together we'll stand, divided we'll fall. Come on now people, let's get on the ball. That we're together, come on.